Good day. So, I would be doing the lecture for Republic Act 9257, also known as your Expanded Senior Citizens Act of 2003. So, when we say senior citizen or elderly, they are residents of the Philippines at least 60 years old. When I say benefactor, they are referred to any person, whether related to the senior citizens or not, who take care of him of her or her as a dependent. So what are the privileges that can be enjoyed by the senior citizens? So they have 20% discount from all establishment relative to utilization of services in the hotel or lodging establishment, restaurants and recreation centers, Purchasing of medicines in all establishment for the exclusive use or enjoyment of senior citizen, which in, it also includes funeral and burial services for the death of senior citizens. Other than that, they also receive 20% discount on admission fees charged by the theaters, cinema houses, concert halls, circuses, carnivals, and other similar place of culture, leisure and amusement, and for exclusive use or, <coughs> or enjoyment of senior citizens. So in other words, they when they want to watch movies in the cinemas, they can also to enjoy 20% discount. And then, they are also exempted from paying their individual income taxes. And also, they are exempted from training fees for socioeconomic programs. So, in other words, if they want to go for trainings for additional info or knowledge in relation to socioeconomic programs, they are exempted in paying for the training fees. Other than that, um, they are uh, free in paying the medical and dental service diagnostic and laboratory fees but not limited to x-rays computerized tomography scans blood tests in all uh, government hospitals so when they are uh, they go to check up in government hospitals they are entitled for free medical and dental service diagnostic and laboratory fee for um, private hospitals and medical facilities, they are entitled for 20% discount on medical and dental services, diagnostic and laboratory fees, also include the professional fee of their attending uh, physicians. When it comes to fare for domestic air and sea travel, they, are, they, uh, they can also or they are also granted for 20% discount. Along with um, public railways, skyways, and bus fare, also 20% discount. And also, if they want to pursue post-secondary, tertiary, post-tertiary, or vocational or technical education in both public and private schools, they are also entitled for educational assistance, which includes the books, the learning activities, and uniform allowance. Other than that, a senior citizen, they are to continue the same benefits and privilege that is given to them by the GSIS, SSS, and pag -ED. And then, they are also given special discounts in special programs on purchasing basic commodities under the guidelines that is issued by the DTI. And they are given or provided expressed lanes in all commercial and government establishment. With the, for the um, privileges that is being mentioned, for the senior citizen or elderly person to avail the privileges that are being mentioned, they should be um, submitting the following. ID issued by the city or municipal mayor of the barangay captain. 
where they are residing. Next one is the passport of the elderly person or the senior citizen concerned. This may be when they purchase um, um, tickets for their local flights. And then, what are the 11 facts that we should know about the senior citizen privileges? First is that it says here, field health benefits for senior citizen are mandatory. So, under the Republic Act 10645, Section 3, it uh, states, the, states there that all senior citizens are automatically receiving field health coverage. So, when a person or individual enters his or her senior years, they automatically receive the field health coverage. So, for private hospital confinement, they would be enjoying 20% discount and VAT exemption from their medical bill. So, um, senior citizen 20% discount would be deducted first before deducting the field health benefit. So, when it comes to public hospitals, no balance billing policy should be applied if the senior citizen is being admitted in the public hospital. So, in short, the senior citizen will no longer pay for their hospital bill. Second fact is that the senior citizen law applies everywhere in the Philippines. So, as long as uh, the senior citizen present their government-issued ID that shows their age, they would be entitled for the senior citizen discount. So, how about without the OSCA-issued ID? So, in other words, without the senior citizen ID, what will they show that they are senior citizen already? So, they can show their passport, they can show their SSS ID or your UMID card, GSID, GSIS ID, driver's license, PRC ID if the senior citizen has one, voter's ID, and postal's ID. So in the absence of the OSCA issued ID, those are the following IDs that they can present. So third fact is that an authorized representative may claim the 20% discount on the senior's behalf. In the uh, situation that the parents or grandparents are already bedridden or very weak to buy their food and medicines, medicines, we can claim the senior citizen discount on their behalf. On the ground, we should be presenting the following documents. First is that we should present the senior citizen ID or any government ID. Second is the OSCA purchase booklet. So, senior citizens has their booklet um, proving that they are senior citizen. Third one is the representative's government ID. And the fourth is signed authorization letter from the senior citizen. Next one is the senior citizen app doesn't allow double discount. So, in the case or in the scenario that the senior citizen would be purchasing something uh, on a promo, they can only get one from the two discounts. So, let's say those two products are in discounts. They can only get one. So, they can choose whichever is the higher discount. They cannot purchase those two. So, no double discount. Next one is senior citizen can avail 5% utility discount. So, they have 5% discount on their power and utility bills. Or water bills so um, with the um, with the ground that the household consumes not more than 100 kilowatt per hour of electricity and 30 cubic meters of water in a month so if they, they, they did not consume more than this then the senior citizen can avail the 5% discount for the utility discount. Next one. Next fact is that elders can get 5% discount for their seniors uh, in certain groceries. So they are entitled for special 5% uh, 
uh, discount without VAT exemption on selected uh, grocery items that is being granted by the DTI. So, seniors who buy groceries worth 1300 per week would be enjoying 5% discount on the retail prices for the following commodities such as your, your rice, bread and corn, chicken, beef and pork whether it's fresh, canned or processed, fresh eggs, coffee, creamer and sugar, fresh fruits and vegetables, garlic and onions, cooking oil and salt, noodles, canned sardines and canned tuna, fresh milk and other dairy products, detergents, electrical supplies such as your light bulbs and batteries, and geriatric diapers. So, for the senior citizen to avail the 5% discount on groceries, they must bring their OSCA purchase booklet when they shop in the supermarkets, convenience store, and drugstores. So, senior citizen, the next fact is that senior citizens can get 20% discount when they book ride hailing services. So, um, uh, airlines such as your Air Pacific, Cebu Pacific, and Philippine Airlines, they implement this senior citizen account, I mean discount, on their websites and mobile apps. So, senior citizen discount applies only for regular fares for domestic flights. Next one is, seniors enjoy vehicle coding exemption and free parking in certain cities. So, um, in some local government, they pamper the senior citizens. In, which, in what way? So, sometimes they give free birthday cakes, to free movies, for example, Makati give um, free movies to their senior citizen um, constituents. Next one, seniors are always priority in queues. So whether in the bank, LRT, MRT stations, fast food restaurants, supermarkets, drugstores, there's always a special lane um, intended for the senior citizen. So, in the establishments that do not have senior citizen lane, RA 9994 requires them to prioritize the elderly clients. So, that would be all about senior citizen law. For further and additional knowledge for this um, Senior Citizen Act of 2003, you may um, Google it for additional knowledge. So that would be all. Have a nice day.